Yes. Hello everyone to a episode of Informative Poorly. Um, that's not actually what it's called. I'm uh, just kind of making it up as I go along. It's um, the unboxing of a quad lock. Um, it's upside down. Um, motorcycle handlebar mount. Well, that's not a very good start, is it? It's already falling off the bike. It doesn't even want to be part of it. Um, yeah. And <laughs> we're in the uh, British countryside, as you can see. Don't know how far you can see, but it is quite spectacular. Let's try and cross the road without dying. It's alright, isn't it? But that is not why we're here. We are here today to unbox a quad lock mount and put it on the bike the mighty devil of course um yeah as a lot of you may know i use a oh heck oh heck don't fall down there as a lot of you may know i use this really shoddy um as i call it the shopping trolley mount because the advertising pictures advertised it on a supermarket trolley but um it's done the job i mean it holds the phone on i don't know how well i mean it hasn't fell off yet it's pretty sturdy about five quid or three quid i don't know a couple quid 63 pounds or 62 pounds or something it's a lot of money for a man for a for a motorbike handlebar but for a phone sorry um to put on a motorcycle handlebar but i'm expecting some top-notch quality and um well, well we'll soon find out if it's um meant to be uh let's whip these gloves off quick and we'll, we'll, we'll whip it open the uh the box it's a lovely weather today it's about 5 35 p.m lovely summer's evening um you can uh, look look at that view it is um it is lovely it's lovely um but the motorcycle handlebar quad lock mount let's uh oh, the first challenge is opening the box it's at the bottom so um i'm hopefully going to be able to go through the actual process of mounting this with you in case uh, instructions pff, don't need them no i changed my mind i do need them i'm not going to be able to figure it out otherwise um yeah so it's basically it replaces the actual case of the phone as well so um let's actually open this one first sorry but it's not very flipping professional this is it it's all over the place so far oh my god there was a gust of wind folks tell you what what we'll do is uh there we got our little workstation now look um i did get an optional extra like angled mount part for it. eight quid for that eight bloody quid it better be worth it but um let's get the phone case out first because i'm gonna have to swap my phone case for this sexy little number um i think it's pretty self-explanatory putting this bit on so i'll do this without the instructions because i'm a daredevil stay stay there so this cheap one it just slides out kind of like a quad lock you're supposed to turn it but having it like that is i don't like it um so let's whip it off that's what it is it's crap flipping pants um right so here's my phone it's a galaxy s10 plus because i'm mr big books over here even though it's an old model um but we're just gonna pry it out of this case like so it's a bit dusty let's get a quick wipe it's a bit of traffic but don't don't concentrate on the traffic um it's a much sturdier case mine is though i must say this it's it's similar but it's pretty sturdy that is um i'm guessing it's the same as any other phone case um just slip it in maybe not maybe this is why there's instructions for it oh it's a tight fit into it Oh, that's quite nice. It's very flush. 
and that's the quad lock so that is uh, you're supposed to be able to just twist it onto the underbar we'll see about that though it's a nice key so isn't it it's got buttons on it a bit hard to press does the job though I can't turn it off, there we go. It'll take a bit of getting used to, so uh, I guess this one we can just uh, slip into one of these pockets, one of the many pockets of the Deville. Um, now to the main event, this is the, the actual mount itself. Oh, you got a little Allen key with it, how quaint. Um, so this is the bit that will go around the actual handlebar, and these are your spacers. So t this is 25mm by um, default, it's going to be a bit of a... So yeah, the Allen key is supplied obviously to be able to do stuff like this. It's a bit fiddly, isn't it? Blimey. Maybe we can move this piece. See, who's, who needs instructions? Not me. Not me. Let's take this one off. There we go. Oh. I'm dropping me tools on the floor now, look. So now we're about to... I think I've got 28mm handlebars. This is just elasticated, so we can just whip that straight off. Cheap plastic shit. That's what that is. Um, see, oh. So, uh, 28mm is the... See how that looks. Oh, that's way too big. Maybe it is 25. Um, oh no, 22, sorry. Maybe I'm going in the wrong direction. That looks about right, doesn't it? Oh yes, that is lovely, that fit. Beautiful. So we just need to take this out. Take the old spacer out. And then put this new one in. Which, I'm assuming, should look something like that. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? I could probably put it a little bit off centre, couldn't I? Like, um, just, uh, I think the, yeah, it's like a rubbery plastic sort of thing. Maybe I could put it there, because then it not, not be in my way, will it? Yeah, I think that might work. Or shall I stick it in the middle? I don't know. I'm a bit torn. Um, of where to stick it. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Um, I'm thinking because my charger is here. So it might be better off there. But then you've got that cable in the way. Shall we stick it in the middle first and then we can decide later? Because at least then we've got best of both worlds. A little bit in between. Um, well, that was a screw that I just dropped, and I didn't hear it come out the other end. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? Oh no, where's the screw gone? <sighs> Hello, screw? Are you in there? Well, folks, um, what's the moral of the story? To do this in a controlled environment. Oh, that's a disaster, isn't it, folks? Just as I thought, all hope was lost. Look what I found. Can you see it? Shall I? I haven't really got anything to point with. It's, it's... You probably can't see it. It's stuck by the radiator fan and I just can't reach it. I need a stick or something. Let's see if we can't find one. Tractor turning. I just, I just need a... I need a poking tool. Um. We're going to have to vacate, folks. The farmers came and kicked me off the land. I didn't leave out behind, did I? I think we're okay.
Right then folks, let's see how long it is before we get kicked out of this field. Um, I've had to change location, haven't I? They weren't too pleased about me using the driveway as a, as a recording studio, to be fair. And it is a bit quieter here, so um, yeah, let's, let's, let's finish it here. You can see some cars up on that, on that ridge. It's lovely. Some sheep and uh, a couple of horses over there. Oh, let me guess. You shouldn't be on my land. Get off me land. It's going to be one of them, isn't it? You alright? Oh! I have no idea. I can't do it, I can't get like five minutes apiece around here. I've, I've just, I've just, um, just remembered folks, I didn't actually retrieve the screw, so it is, uh, it is gone. We've lost the screw, it is, it is, it is gone. Ooh. Unbelievable, Jeff. That is definitely an. Um this is turn. This isn't a flipping how to anymore. Don't drop it down there, Paulie. Oh, steady. Ooh. This isn't a how to anymore. This is a flipping test of survival skills. We're flipping roll. Yeah, we're rolling. This is. You can't make this up. You sit in there and don't go anywhere. Let's get somewhere a bit quieter. Otherwise, he's flipping. <laughs> Unfriendly folk might kick me off the driveway again. I just can't believe we found the screw. Let's um, let's. I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Filming location Trez. That means three. In Spanish. Um. Let's fl <laughs> let's flip and do this once and for all. We've 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 gone to d different points of the countryside, gathering our pieces of the puzzle, and now we're gonna put it together um we i mean they didn't add enough challenge in the uh, in in the kit it wasn't challenging enough so i thought let's let's scatter the parts around the countryside that'll make it way better um let's take these big bulky gloves off this isn't a dodge and squad challenge so uh that'll make it a lot easier uh hopefully this time we don't lose the bolt uh, that was not ideal i'm not gonna lie um I think it's it's um it's a lovely evening. Um, look at that. Just 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 look at that. It's it's lovely. It's it's lovely. There it is, folks. The flipping ender of worlds. Um, now I need a piece. So yeah, you get this piece. You get your space. You get the right space you need, and then you get the actual bit that goes on the clamp. I've already got my space run, that didn't fall off, thank god. Um, no. Oh my god, it gets worse. It gets worse, people, it gets worse. So yeah, we want to move that out of the way for this part. Oh. They, they must be, they're quite excited about something. Not sure what. You see, I'm a, that's why I'm concerned of putting it in the middle, because it'll make... Um, putting my... Oh wait! Hey, that's pretty snazzy, isn't it? I could have it off-centre like that. We can have it in the middle after all. Um, so carefully insert the screw. Then use the provided Allen key to tighten up the clamp without dropping the screw within the... Um, that with the t within the ten acres of empty space under the fairing, where it could literally go anywhere. So you want to nip that up nicely. I mean, that's that is that is not going anywhere. And then this part is what the phone actually goes onto. And what you could actually do is like put it off centre like that. It's like it, it locks in into these different different positions. Um, you just nip that up nicely. And then what you can do, look at that, that's pretty sturdy stuff, I mean look at that, I can move the old bike with it, look at that, that's pretty sturdy, it's a lot better than that pants rubber thing I was using, so now I've still got 
entry point for the key because that's the problem I had before I couldn't get the keys in it might actually be better to just loosen that off a little bit God, it is, it is pretty good this clamp is, I'm not going to lie move it across because that will give me more room for the oh. I heard it come through bottom where are you you little bastard Ooh. flipping tutorials with Paulie this might be the first and last ever episode I'll tell you yep nip that up that's nipped up nicely um, and the beauty of the little flipping eight quid accessory, eight quid of this, is that um, you can actually angle it on the. Uh, how the hell do you put it on? God, it's a bit tight. It looks like you won't be able to adjust it on the fly though, because um, it's got an Allen stud. So that, presumably goes on there oh. oh that looks yeah that's right uh, how does it lock in oh you have to put a screw in it it's a bit naff in it see if we've got one oh we have look it <laughs> flipping heck right so the long one is for the top part so yeah if you've got the angled part like I have you have to do this you want to get it as straight as you can because it's on like a, a like a, a gear mechanism almost where it locks in quite nicely now I just need to try and get the allen key and 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 and, 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 and just tighten that up tighten it up lovely oh I see right so you don't need it oh yeah you do <laughs> I'm, I'm learning uh, with you guys. That's 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 the beauty of this. I'm, we're learning together. Um, right, does this only fit in? No, no, it goes in both ways. And then this. I don't know which way round it's supposed to go. Yeah, it's definitely supposed to go that way. Let's just nip this up for now. We'll see, I mean, look at this view. Yeah, it, there's a tractor. Look at that there, can you see it? Binocular, you need one of them. You see it now? Oh, that's the Allen key, gone again. Tractor. I'll, I'll put, I'll, 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 we'll count it. I can still see it. Don't, don't know if you can, but I can. Right, next part is the actual quad lock, um, which is this little bad boy. Um, I don't know how to use it, <laughs> like all the rest of this kit. Uh, I don't want to break it, that's the important thing. Right, so... I don't know what the pushy thing is for. Shall we have a look at the instructions? Wait, wait, quick gander. Right, instead of... Right. Right. Yeah, none of that makes sense. Um, so, I think you're supposed to put this on like, like that. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, let's go with that. So, it's, um... It's not much for 62 quid. <laughs> yeah, it was 62 quid, so that looks a bit a bit odd. Is that what it locks in? Is that, I think that's what it locks into. And the plan is to have my phone plugged in so I can just feed the cable up like that or something out of the way. You can get these USB um, block things that go on, but I it's like, it's like 30 odd quid for one of them. Um, I need the phone. That's got the. It's all built in lock. Look at that. So, what you're supposed to be able to do. <laughs> I have no flipping clue what I'm doing. <laughs> it 
So what? Do so does it go in like that? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I see why I should have put it in the middle now. You see, we're learning. We're learning important lessons here, folks. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Why won't you go on? What's wrong with you now? I'm going to have to get used to this. It's clearly too advanced for me. For the likes of Paulie. Um, oh, God. Please. Just go on. Oh, my God. There it is. It locked. Quad lock. <laughs> it's flipping amazing. I can still get my keys lock as well, that's pretty nifty. And see, now I can still plug my phone in. That was the important thing. There is a bit of um, play, but it's lo definitely locked in there. And... How do you... I don't know how to... I don't know how to get it off. <laughs> Give me my phone back. We're learning together, like I say. Look at this. Summer's evening. Wonderful. So, um, remove your, how to remove your device. Let's see. Um, mounting your phone, removing off. Oh, I <laughs> put it on the wrong way. I can't get to the thing. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yes! We did it! Yes! <laughs> it's the rude boys again, they're back. But I don't care, because I've flipping done it all by myself. Look at that, we've done it. Give me the nod. Give me the nod. I'm the I'm a farmer now, I'm officially a farmer. I it's the video of dreams this is. We've mounted it, the next part of the video, so we've done the unboxing, we've uh, fitted it, <laughs> there's uh, definitely some learning curves to be had there, um, I'll sort all that when I get home, um, yeah we've fitted it, oh. um, and now we just need to do a bit of a test I think. So folks, it's not fell off yet, um, which is great. I mean, that's a definitely a good selling point. Uh, it doesn't fall off in the first 10 minutes of use. Although that could just be down to my pure brute strength with that Allen key. Um, yeah, it's still on the handlebars. It's great. It, it, it does the job. <laughs> what more can I ask for? Um, I will find somewhere to stop to go over more little things that I uh, quite like about it but so far I'm quite, I'm, quite, I'm quite happy with it some things I'm not too happy about but mostly I'm, I'm quite a happy chappy to be honest um, although I'm stuck behind this Lexus ruining all the fun um, I have to go quite slow behind him but it is what it is I, can't, I ain't got the flipping horsepower to get past him have I? So, I've stopped at an old water mill um, to talk about the quad lock. It's, yeah, I know, it's, you don't get this kind of um, entertainment anywhere else. So something I do quite like about this is the case. You don't have to move anything out of the way to use the camera. Um, this was a problem with my old one, because you just had a flipping elastic band in front of it. Because let's say I just want to take a snap of my bike next to this, next to this water wheel. I can just do it as simple as that. So I quite like that. Um, mounting it. So once you get the hang of it, it's easy enough. Right, so mounting it, you just have to line up these um, pokey bits. Um, technical term is, is clearly pokey bits. Then you turn it. As soon as you can feel it push in, you can just turn it. And that's when I can plug it in. Like so. Lovely. So. 
what do I think? My overall thoughts. Um, well, for 60, um, 60, what is it? 62 quid. Oh, it's a bit steep, isn't it? For what it is, but it's the it's like the price you pay um, for something to work properly, I guess. Um, it's obviously paying a fiver for an elasticated flipping piece of crap. It's uh, not got very much usability because obviously I have to take all of them things off if I want to take a picture or something. And I quite like taking me pictures. Um, private property, no fishing. <sighs> no, not gonna not seeing many fishing there to be fair anyway. Um, but yeah, it's a bit expensive, but it does the job. That's the important thing. Uh, yeah, it does the job. That's that's what matters really. And it, I do prefer the position by quite a lot. It seems decent quality too, to be honest. Um, it doesn't seem like cheap tat, like all of the stuff you can flipping get from ants. Turn it keys a bit, still a bit, getting used to that, but I can actually get access to my ignition now with this one. I swear I just left it in gear and I flipping door wheelie into the drink. Um, look at the ducks. But yeah, it seems decent enough. My only gripe's the uh, rather steep asking price. And I think that the fact that the accessories are just as expensive, it's a little bit off-putting to be honest, but like I say, it's the price you pay for something to work right. Um, I flipping, you can't make this up. How many tractors is that in one video? I think we've flipping broke the record. I hope you've enjoyed this more, <laughs> say slightly more informative uh, video. Um, but it, I think this is more got it's got more entertainment value than it has inf information. It's not it's not been that informative. Although if you want a, a scavenger hunt across the uh, Peak District uh, involving screws and um, flipping this that and the other, this is the place. You found the right place to be, folks. The Pauly Channel. It couldn't have gone any worse, to be honest. Although I did get it mounted in the end. So, it was a success. I mean, regardless of it being a bit of a struggle, we still got there in the end. 